Hello, lovely people of the internet. This is JJ, and welcome to, um, what is this? Oh, right. Welcome to Daily Sketch, where I sketch a thing, and I talk about what I'm doing, and kind of whatever else is on my mind. And please be sure to watch to the end of the video, where I showcase some artwork from other artists and everything that are doing Drawloween or Inktober. And if you'd like me to showcase your work at the end of a video, please use the hashtag RelInktober on Twitter or Instagram, and I'll give those a look and pick the ones that I enjoy the most and put them at the end of my video. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. And anyways, so the prompt for this, um, not this week, but this day, is dragons. And when I thought about dragons, I obviously thought about knights. So I decided to draw Rel Rel as a knight, fighting against Lily, dressed in a puffy dragon costume. Um, yeah. So, one of the ideas for Rel Rel's armor was, um, if anybody has seen the anime Record of Lotus War, I designed the costume, I didn't I didn't look up any reference, but it's from memory, from the character Parn, the main character, the swordsman, the knight, that eventually becomes, uh, you know, a total badass in the end. Yeah. She's dressed as that, and I don't know if it looks similar, I mean, it looks, I guess, similar from what I remember, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know how I did in the comments below. One of the things that I noticed now watching the video and looking at the drawing is that I really, I don't know, the, I'm not really happy with the poses. I mean, Lily is kind of just statically, you know, standing there, not menacing at all. I mean, she wasn't meant to be menacing, but I feel like I could have added a little more dynamis, that, di um, dynamicism? Is that even a word? You know, made her pose a little more dynamic, and Rel Rel is... She could have been a little bit more dynamic as well. I mean, her line of action is just really flat, I guess. And also, I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll talk about that when we go back to Rel Rel. The other thing that I noticed is looking at how I drew Lily, for some reason it reminds me of Mogoram from um, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. The, that one dude who liked to rip the hearts out of everybody. In, in the movie. I It totally wasn't my intention, and I don't know, maybe it's just me, but the Lily's headpiece reminds me of the the skull and the, um, the headdress, the skull headdress that he was wearing. But anyways, yeah. Moving on, so yeah, I'm slightly happy with how this turned out. I, I don't know, like I said, the poses are a little static. Um, one of the things that um, that I do enjoy about it is all of the, the the black areas because I'm always looking for places to add black or dark points to the drawing and this one has a lot of them. I don't know, I don't know maybe it, it was overkill and it blew the drawing out in, in some way or another but so far I'm happy with it but I I don't know I try to draw these things without thinking too much because if I think too much I just stop and I just I won't finish it so you know, and especially with Draw Halloween, trying to do a drawing every single day. If I spend too much time on this, I'm just going to burn myself out and I'm not even going to finish Draw Halloween. And um, that's happened before. I've, I think I've done Draw Halloween for the past two years. Um, I think I started in 2015. Um, in 2015, I did three drawings and just stopped. Last year, I didn't even participate, and so this year, I'm trying to do something different where I do a video every single day, so I kind of hold myself accountable, and I have to go through and finish Draw Halloween. I don't know. Um, if anybody else out there who's listening is participating in Draw Halloween, how are, I don't know, how are you finding it? I know some people can just sketch away and think of, you know, whatever they need to for the prompt of the day, and just sketch away, you know, and draw whatever comes to mind, but I, I don't know. Um, the, these last couple days, I've been able to, to come up with some pretty interesting ideas, but I feel like of the four pieces that I've done over the last four days, this one is maybe my weakest or the one I'm least happy with. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's me. But. Um, aside from not liking the poses, one thing that I am happy with is the detail. I feel like the detail... Um, really made the piece and made it stand out a lot more than I was hoping but still that I mean look at that arm I mean oh my 
I would totally just go back and redraw it, but it's just, like I said, Drawloween, you just have to keep moving forward and just finish the piece. You know what I mean? So anyways, yeah, that was my um, piece for day four of Drawloween. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like that, please like, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my work, please check out my Twitter and my Instagram. I post there pretty much daily. And if you'd like to help me out, please support me on Patreon. And um, yeah. Today's work, we are taking a look at my wife. <laughs> Not taking a look at my wife, but we're taking a look at um, her drawings that she's done for Drawloween. She comes up with some with which some. <laughs> she comes up with some really cute um, characters and everything. And so please give her work a look, and also give her a like and a subscribe, and you know go check her stuff out. I will have a link somewhere on the video here, on the screen. And anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I will be back next time with another creative video. Yep, you all rock. Bye.